Hello, this is Trisha from Sandian Auto, and I have a preview of the items I'm going to have for sale in my live sale on my YouTube channel right here on Wednesday, March 17th at 4 p.m. Eastern. So I'm going to quickly go through all of the items that I will have for sale. And uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live for my sales and when I put out new content. And uh, please remember to thumbs up the video. And um, with that, I think I am going to go ahead and get started. So up first... I am going to show this beautiful clear glass uh, serving dish. And I also have a divided clear glass serving dish. I have three German uh, salt cellars, open salts. They are all identical. And I have four German ceramic coasters that have four different designs on them. And there is, oops, there is the last one. Okay, I have a crystal jam jar. and a little teacup and saucer from Alaska. And that is signed by the artist on the bottom. Okay, I have a um, fabric that I believe was either like a shawl or um, some kind of maybe a sarong or something. Um, it was made in Japan and it's beautiful navy and white hibiscus flowers. I have a, um, a table runner, <laughs> which is reversible, two different sides, uh, two different fabrics on the sides. I have a pair of napkin rings, light wood napkin rings that are made in Taiwan. Um, I have a set of four cowboy boot button covers. I have a necklace that has a um, owl pendant. There is a set of four vintage party invitations. They are all identical. A yellow depression glass, cabbage rose by Federal, and that's a bowl. And then I also have this nice big pottery bowl. Um, it's not as heavy as you would think it is. It is handmade with a black glaze. But as you can see in the middle, there is a blue and green tinge to the glaze. It is a beautiful bowl. Okay. Um, I'm going to show some more jewelry. So here is a, a pendant that has, um, well, it's a, what am I trying to say? I better take it out of the bag. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to say it so well. <laughs> so it is a necklace here with a green um, stone pendant on it. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> And here is a, um, boy, this is kind of a mixed media <laughs> kind of necklace. It has some, um, looks like um, glass beads and uh, maybe some plastic beads. Some of these kind of, I believe that's like a shell maybe. And for some reason, there's ones that look like skulls on here. I haven't quite figured that one out. It's kind of got a little bit of everything going on on it. <laughs> I have a um, little pin that is a kind of silver 
silver grayish tone metal umbrella. Um, oh, these are not um, jewelry, but we have a little girl or a woman kneeling. And then we have a, a little girl on a pink cross. And that is like a something that is like a pendant that can be hung. Um, this is a scarf um, accessory. Put the scarf through that as you're wearing it. Um, this is a pendant that is pewter from Norway with a knight and horse on it. And then I have this pendant that has kind of a greenish shell and silver tone metal on it. I have this little pair of Stein coffee cups. These are made in Japan, but I love how they look like little Bavarian Steins. Um, I did have one Irish piece, and I think I have another one, um, also kind of Irish, that I did not remember I had, but since it's going to be St. Patrick's Day, I thought I would bring it out. And that's a beautiful um, little covered dish. I have the blue onion pattern in a napkin holder. Uh, this is a Delft vase a little different kind of design and very small and uniquely shaped. Um, here is the other one. This is actually, I believe, German, uh, but it is has a four-leaf clover, and this is a, what is it, a lucky jug or lucky jar, um, but it is kind of like a little lidded stein, Oops, small. Uh, this is like an ornament. I'm going to say ornament. Um, it's not cloisonne because this is done with um, like a beaded um, ribbon or like a ribbon through there. But I believe it's kind of like March maybe with the lion and the lamb. I have the set of three German coasters. Yes, I did have these in a previous sale, but I'm going to try them again. So we have... Um, Kaiser Slaughtern, and then two from Nuremberg. Oops, and this one. And I have a set of four clear glass plates with the um, grapes pattern on them. Okay, now I'm switching over to this side. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to start down here. Now, I have a set of two pillowcases. Now, unfortunately, when I washed them, they the fabric did not hold, and they did shred a little bit. Uh, but I am glad that they shredded on me and not having sold them and have them shredded on you while you washed them. Um, however, you can see that there is still some really good um, use of the um the needlepoint that was done on them. So I'm going to kind of have those be like a crafter's lot. Um, this is a dresser scarf that you can see is cross-stitched and it is beautiful. Um, I have the kitty print. This is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And this is a print that is mounted on a board. I have this print of a rooster, and on the back is a note that says this is a lino cut block print. After the print is pulled, it is hand colored using golden acrylics and barrel prism colors. So very neat. I am going to have a whole bunch of these. These are all checkered pattern. Lots of different colors. I'll go through real quick and kind of fan through. Lots of colors. And these are like a um, um, like a thick 
placemat. This is like a vinyl and it is kind of cushioned. I'll use the cat tree for that. <laughs> I am going to have a set of music, um, really great collection of music for um, card makers, junk journalers, all that fun stuff. And then I picked one of these um, to be kind of the centerpiece. And so here is an Errol Flynn um, cover. Some Sunday morning from the movie San Antonio. Uh, so I thought that would be really fun. Okay. This is a Thune, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Bohemia Czechoslovakian platter. Beautiful porcelain on this. And I have an aluminum tray from Wilson. I believe it's Wilson's specialty out of Brooklyn, New York. That is a gorgeous aluminum tray. Okay. <laughs> I have a pair of toothpick holders. Um, put those back there. I have the pair of uh, Cambridge nut dishes. One is pink and one is green. And I don't remember if I showed this one, so I'm going to go ahead and show it again. If I did already show it, I'm sorry. This is a Celeste metal um, trinket dish, and it has a little pair of tweezers on the inside. I have a beautiful Christmas ornament, or it could be any time of year ornament you want. Um, this is a yellow satin ball with beads and sequins and ribbon, all held in with pins. It is completely intact. There isn't a pin or sequence or anything missing. That is a beauty. Right there. I have another little stein right here. Now you can see, unfortunately, the top is chipped, but uh, I don't think that takes away from the overall cuteness of that stein. Um, there we go. I have a pair of cats. One is um, sleeping, and then the other one is just kind of strutting around. Here's a um, silver plated clear and frosted glass pedestal server. This is a miniature set of Mexican pottery. Um, it's kind of, I think there's three plates, two cups, a, like a coffee pot, oh no, like a teapot, a creamer, and a sugar maybe but I believe that there's only three plates, two cups. Um, it's not a complete set, but it is really neat with this great glaze. And the tray that is on here is really, really well done. And uh, it's marked Mexico on the back. This is a Claremont Japan plate. Really pretty design on that. 